Hello and welcome to Tech by Tosh. My name is Toshit and today we're going to look at applying SharePoint site templates on both the communication sites and team sites. We're also going to look at what actually happens behind the scenes when we apply these site templates. So let's go and have a look. So I've created this brand new SharePoint team site. Now that's okay, I can customize this site and change it to my requirements. But Microsoft have recently released SharePoint site templates, which we can apply directly and it just works great. Now let's have a look at those templates. So if I click on settings gear and click on apply a site template. So this now gives me about five different options. So one of the template is about event planning. So if you are creating a site or if you have created a site and you want to customize your site, um, you know, based on the event planning work that you want to do, or this site is focused on event planning, you might want to use this template. If you have created a site to manage your project, uh, you might want to use this template. And same for training and courses, you know, your organization, you might be offering different training and courses um, to different participants. You know, you can use this template and then we have the training and development team template. And this is a team collaboration um, site templates, which is similar to this uh, current template that we currently have. Now, before we apply a template, let's have a look what we currently have and what will happen when we apply this site template. I just close out this window. So I'll quickly go to site contents and let's have a look what we currently have. So we have our documents library and we don't have any documents in there. We have our site assets, only two items in that and then site pages. We only have, you know, one home page, which is basically this home page is our home page for the site. Now, Let's apply the template and see what happens. So I'll click on the settings gear again and click on apply a site template. All right. Let's assume we are creating a site for a project management. Our, you know, internal teams have requested a site or if you are creating a site for yourself, um, that's great. So let's click on project management. And obviously on, on your left hand side, you can see what sort of site capabilities are for this particular template. So we're happy with this. Let's just click on use template. So it now applies the template to your existing site. So once the template is applied, you can see the layout for your homepage has changed, you know, based on the template on our right hand side, we have this section for a product launch countdown. And then we have some items for project milestones, which is basically a calendar web part. And then we have some team tools. You know, these are basically the, the links and then, you know, some other contents about the contributors or designer about this project. You can obviously go ahead and, you know, click on edit and make changes to these templates. So once you apply the template, you can just simply click on edit and, you know, make any changes, move around, you know, all those different sections, you can change the titles if you're not happy with those. And if you want to have it something, you know, customized, you can change this. So this is pretty flexible. So which is great. This happens, you know, we're happy with this template. Now let's just discard changes. So this template is fine. But if you notice, we have all these extra lists on your left hand side navigation. We didn't have project tracker list before. We didn't have the issue tracker list before. So let's just go back to site contents again and see what actually has happened. So when we go back to site contents, you can find that it has created an issue tracker list and a progress tracker list. Under site assets, we only had two assets before. Now it's nine. So if I click on that, it actually created some JPEGs and you know modified the site templates folder just to include some project management specific um, images within that. Under site pages, 
if you notice there are about you know additional items so you can see there's a project home.aspx and then there is a templates folder which it has created which actually has some status report on the template All right going back to site pages project home is now a default home page for our website so if i open this page in a new tab you will see that this is the home page that it has actually applied if you go back to the site pages again and click on home.aspx our old home page it's still there if somehow you know you might want to go back to your original home page you can simply click on this and click on those three little dots and say make home page so this will convert this home.aspx into your current home page but we have applied this template site so i guess we are going to use this template so let's click back on home and you know this is what has actually happened when you applied a template so it actually creates some additional items um, lists and libraries based on the requirements of the template now let's have a look at what different options we have for the communication site for the site templates so let's go ahead and click on settings here again and apply a site template now for communication site we have some additional templates available now all these set templates are different from the ones we have under team site so you will find that you know most of these template not most basically all of these templates have a full width which is basically what is communication site is all about now you know for crisis management we have a separate template um, this is a really good way you know given COVID is going on these days if you want to create a site focus specifically on COVID and providing all the news you know this is a really great site to create uh, just specifically for any crisis management and then we have the department site templates and obviously some leadership connections and you know learning central if you want to create and showcase you know how what sort of learning capabilities or opportunities your organization provides to your employees that's a great template to use so let's just try to use this template um, I really like the colors so these are some of the site capabilities as you can see let's just go ahead and create hit use template so this is now applying a template to our communication site and it has changed all the color it has imported you know all of the different images and graphics and which is really cool because you don't have to download any images to apply to all these different sections um, I'm, I'm already loving it this is this is a really great way to apply different templates Microsoft has you know done a great job in creating these templates um, these are all the new releases that Microsoft have recently released so you know feel free to use these templates again you can you know modify these templates to suit your needs um, and you know it has if, if you see on the top hand side it actually also created some menu items for you you know if you want to change some of the items you can click on edit and you know change um, whatever links you want to change based on your requirements um, if we go back to our site contents um, let's see what happened in the background let's just close the navigation first cancel out from there click on site settings and we click on site contents so obviously in the background it has you know added some extra bits and pieces so site pages obviously is one thing similar to um, team site it has created a new page learn home but obviously if you want to go back to your original home page you can just select it and click on those three dots and you know just say make home page otherwise you know you can start using the new page it created um, under site assets obviously it has created number of images uh, which is great you didn't have to worry about adding any new uh, images based on the template so you know these are all the learning center images that it has brought in so there you go you know um, this is how you can actually apply a new site template uh, which Microsoft had just released um, 
I am very happy to see all these new templates because it does save a lot of time and you know trying to figure out what colors to apply how to set up your page what layouts to choose from you know this is all just in front of you uh, if you don't want it you can change it you can change the color scheme but i guess they you know they've done a pretty good job all right so in this video we had a look at how you can apply different kind of sharepoint site templates for both the communication sites and theme sites in sharepoint online I hope you really enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave your comments, hit like and subscribe to see more videos like this in future. That's it for today. I hope to see you next time.